Okay, we did get a, a, a pair of questions on TikTok, actually. Whoop, whoop. <clears throat> related Sweet. to Welsh. Nice to see you guys. Related to Welsh stuff. Cool. Um, I forget the username, but unfortunately, uh, she wants to know, do the Welsh have an equivalent to the kilt? Also, what is the Welsh equivalent for the Scottish clan societies? And that was from Lella626. That second part is uh, is a very interesting question I don't know the answer to, per se. But was it Llewellyn? Lellis. Lellis, okay. 626. Okay. The, um, uh, do Welsh have a kilt? Yes. Weird point of fact, the Welsh language does not have a K, so they spell kilt with a C. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, uh, yeah, there there are Welsh you know Welsh kilting tradition, so to speak, is a newer tradition. The Welsh there's about Very. 30, 30 35 ish Welsh tartans. They were all designed in the nineteen nineties, similar to like the Irish county tartans again designed in the nineteen nineties. So it's only twenty five ish thirty ish years old. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean it's a bad tradition. It just means it's new. Right. So. The, yeah, any thoughts on that? I would say it's because it's a newer tradition, it is still evolving. Um, the people who spearheaded developing the Welsh tartans, um, they did two things. Number one, they decided, okay, let's look at the major Welsh names and come up with a tartan for each of them so that people who are of a family, like, you know, Lewis or Harris, Edwards, uh, Edwards Llewellyn, Llewellyn yeah. um, have a tartan for themselves. And they also have a couple of universal cemented, like the St. David Tartan uh, and the Pride of Wales Tartan. Glendor. And Glendor, oh, named for Owen Glendor. Um, so, so they tried to make sure they were hitting all the bases, right? Um, the other thing that they did was they wanted to make it stylistically different. So they, instead of doing square uh, shapes for the tartan set, they went with rectangles, which can mean that uh, Welsh tartans and Welsh kilts look a little odd uh, on close inspection. They look a little different. Um, so those are those are two signifying factors. And I think the other thing is that in an effort to make sure that the look looked distinctly Welsh and different, they, they went for that. And some of the initial accessory ideas were a little bit on the nose and a little bit over the top. Like, you know, and I know this was something that you were very much involved with at the time also, you know, since the beginning of this company, was using gold as an accent. Because, you know, trying to reflect the red dragon on the flag basically, is kind of the inspiration. And so a lot of Welsh accessories for a long time were two-tone. And what that meant they were basically like chrome and gold and they're like, in your face! You know, like, you know, blinded by the reflection of the sun. My eye! Kind of thing. And so it looks <coughs> young as a tradition. So some of the Welsh looks look a little young. As more people have been getting into it and they've been toning down some of those things and going, and there's more Welsh-themed accessories out there and a generally just a wider array of Kilting accessories Things, in yeah. general, um, it's much more coming into its own now. Um, the most common time you will see Welsh tartans is um, St. David's Day parades. Um, in fact, we did a we've done a couple of videos recently. We did one ab uh, about uh, we did a, an SMV, what we call a social media video about St. David, um, and we've done a couple of others where basically a lot of the footage you'll see is uh, a St. David's Day parade somewhere in Wales, and you'll have a gentleman dressed as St. David, and he's got the St. David Day, you know, St. David Tartan on as part of his costume. St. David never would have known what the Tartan was, but, you know, it's become a thing. So that's, the, that's, my, that's my basic summation. I have an interesting story slash small point of clarification. Do you know? Oh, I do. I okay. do. It's, I, I still, I remember it like it's yesterday. Um, the, uh, uh, Tony, the guy that owns the uh, Welsh Tartan Center. Mm -hmm. um, he was over at a trade show. I forget. I think it was the Caucus trade show. Um, and I went out to dinner with him. Nice Ellie guy. And I went out. Yes. <clears throat> and the Welsh Tartan Center, they had, uh, I was talking to him about their, their jackets. They do Prince Charlie's, Nargals, and all of their buttons are round and they are gold. Period. Um, they did well, or they did, you know, Welsh buckle, did a Welsh kilt pin, you know, Welsh, you know, uh, gold dragon on the sporn, right. all these different things. And they did them in gold specifically because they wanted it to be different right. than the Scottish stuff. At some point towards the, you know, in, you know, a few years in, he got enough requests for, look, I don't have anything else gold. I'd like a silver kilt pin. I, I, won't, I don't want that one because it's gold. I want silver because I have everything else. So he eventually said... 
okay, fine. And he had to start carrying silver things as well as gold things. Uh -huh. And I remember it again like it was yesterday. We're sitting at dinner and I'm like, Tony, why don't you just do like a silver kill pin with a gold dragon or a Welsh or a, a silver mm -hmm. buckle with a gold mm -hmm. dragon? That way you mix the metals and it could match gold or silver. And the like the color drained out of his face, just like I should have thought of that. Damn it! <laughs> and that's when we started doing uh, uh, the the Welsh uh, plate brooch yeah, and buckle and the, and the two tone stuff. Yeah, yeah. And we bought it with him to get costs down. But that's yep. when he started carrying all the two tone stuff. Yep. So yes, I found that very very amusing. That it was the one that was just like ah. Could have had a V eight. Wow! I could have had a V eight. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Welsh stuff. It's they designed it to be different. They didn't just want to be a a, a copy of the Scottish heritage. They wanted to right. invent it for themselves and do it a little bit different for their mm -hmm. own. Mm -hmm. um, now, Welsh societies. Um, I don't know of any Welsh clan societies, so to speak. Yeah, I don't think there's um, really like family things or anything. But. Yeah, now there's a Welsh society of Philadelphia. Right. Um, I've met the, the president of that a few times at the mm -hmm. St. Andrew's dinner things. But there's there are Welsh societies there's a welsh parade i want to say in atlanta or something like that mm -hmm. there's a few welsh societies and welsh groups around the u.s there mm -hmm. where there's pockets of you know well, and, and especially heritage. in our area and there's a there's a, a larger group up towards uh scranton wilkesbury hazelton okay area um cold they, regions yeah there were a lot of in this country there were a lot of uh uh welsh quakers who came over so we have a very strong welsh presence here in the philadelphia area where we are um, but it's usually their study of their traditions usually goes back through the, the line of the Quakers coming over, not so much about like medieval whales or anything like that. You know, if you talk to them about, you know, Uwen Glendur, they're going to be like, a lot of them are just going to be like, who? They don't know that. Their, 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 their heritage story is more about this side of the pond here. Yeah. Um, so I know a few of them are like, you know, it's like, hey, Welsh people wear kilts now. And they're like, what? You know, and some of the old timers are just kind of like, that doesn't make any sense. Um, but um, it's a newer tradition. It is a newer yeah. tradition. It's it, it it got off the ground in the '90s, but it actually was a, there was a push for it earlier on. There's a newsreel um, that I have in the archive of a reporter going around somewhere in Wales. '40s or um, '30s was it? '50s. Okay. It's like '50s okay. or very early '60s. And he's going around. He's like, "Do you feel Welshmen should wear the kilt?" And and most of them are just like, "Nah, why did you do that? That's a Scottish thing." What do you think about this suggestion that Welshmen should wear kilts? Nonsense. Why is that? Well, why not keep the Scotsman to their kilts and leave the Welshman on their own? Don't you think that the Welshman should have a national dress? No, we have not one yet. We have not been yeah. using it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So it's just like, but so the interest has always been there because, my God, the Welsh are like chronologically the oldest Celtic, Celtic cultural structure, uh, Celtic umbrella uh, identity in the UK. You know, there were there were the, the the Celtic language group right, settled in that area before anywhere else, and so they're ancient. They're ancient, <coughs> ancient, ancient people. Um, yeah, I'm rambling. And the Welsh kind of uh, the the Welsh in America that I've interacted with, a lot of them feel kind of like the the redheaded stepchildren yeah. of the Celtic world. They're just like you know, yeah. you have all this Irish and Scottish stuff. Where's the Welsh stuff? Where's the Welsh stuff? Um, so we do try to cater to that as a company. We try to cater to that audience. Um, as, you know, there's also the Cornish and the Manx and all that kind of thing right. as well. Right. But <clears throat> the Welsh is the one that's that's most common, especially in Philadelphia area. Yeah. Um, and there are Welsh societies. So if you are Welsh, seek it out. Try to you know try to yeah. You it's going to be join a, other. It's going to be a general website. thing. Yeah. It's going to be a general thing, not a clan thing. Yeah. But it is there, and more people should do it because it's awesome. Agreed. It's all about building community. And uh, and uh, read the uh, Mabahayan. I always mispronounce it, but the 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 Welsh, the Welsh mythical epic, Mabahion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. I um, uh, I know enough to know that I know it. Exists. My wife's gonna kill me. Then nothing <laughs> else. <laughs> You've mangled my national heritage. Then, um, <laughs> but yeah. Indeed. Are you Welsh and are you a member of a Welsh society? If you are, please leave a link down in the comments so that other Welsh people can find their community as well. Or are you part of a pan-Celtic type community that is accepting of all Celtic cultures? If so, leave that link too. While you're down there, please 
hit the thumbs up button so we can beat the Google algorithms and help our channel grow. Thanks, guys.